Hi, I'm Mike Weyers and would like to welcome you to this video in which one of the facets from the book The Theory and Practice of Community Work, A Southern African Perspective will be dealt with in a little more detail. My wish is that this video will help you master community work as a social work method even better. Are you ready? Let's start. Today we are going to take a closer look at some of the roles that you will have to perform as a community social worker. You are listening to my voice avatar, Brian, who will tell you more. You will find a number of roles in Chapter 3 of the book, The Theory and Practice of Community Work, A Southern African Perspective. Our focus will, however, only be on the roles that are especially performed in the implementation of the social action practice model. The role of mobilizer or organizer. It is a social worker who liaises with, or organizes individuals, groups and or organizations in order to create the power base that is a prerequisite for effective social action. The following is an example of how the social worker would liaise with community groups and organizations so that they could join forces to tackle socio-political barriers, inequities and injustices. The role of partisan supporter consists of six sub-roles. These are those of activist, advocate, agitator, negotiator, mediator, and broker. The nature and examples of each of these sub-roles will be looked at separately. In performing his or her role of activist, the community worker would lobby institutions and those in power for the protection and advancement of the rights of disadvantaged citizens. It is basically the job of the activist to fight for those that are at a disadvantage. And the main goal would be to create some form of institutional change. In his or her work, the activist would focus on, and fight, social injustice, deprivation, and inequity. The activists' main techniques are influencing, such as public demonstrations, petitions and lobbying, and dispute settlement techniques such as mediation, arbitration and negotiations. Here are some of the South African and international activists you might know very well. We now move on to the role of advocate. In performing the role of advocate, the community worker would speak out on behalf of a constituency in order to promote their fair and equitable treatment, or to gain needed resources. This role has been borrowed from the legal profession. You might know very well what it basically entails from the number of legal dramas on television. The main goal is to enable client systems to gain access to the goods and services that they are entitled to. You will especially perform this role when a client or community group is in need of help and existing institutions are uninterested, 
or even hostile, to provide the required services. In executing this role, you would provide leadership in digging up the facts about the lack or refusal of services, in order to argue for the client system's right to services, and to challenge the institution's decision not to provide the service. The aim is not to censure or ridicule the institution, but to persuade it to change its service delivery policy, so that it would be more beneficial to the interests of the client or community group. We now move over to the role of negotiator. As a negotiator, the social worker would bargain on behalf of his or her constituency with the power structure. In community work, the social worker usually allies with the one party that has a power deficit in the relationship. The aim is to bring those in conflict together and to seek a compromise on which both parties could agree. Let us next look at the role of mediator. A mediator is someone who would, as a neutral third party, intervene in disputes between other parties to help them find compromises reconcile differences, or reach mutually satisfactory agreements. The mediator's basic job is to 1. Listen, 2. Sort through the differences between the two parties involved in the dispute, and 3. Find a solution to the problem. Mediators must remain neutral in the conflict between the parties. The last sub-role in the partisan supporter category is that of broker. A broker is someone who would link the client system or constituency to appropriate financial, physical, educational, social service, technical and or environmental resource. This includes linking them to services that are available in the community or to those that are delivered on the outside. To summarize, you will perform the social action roles when there is a need to fight injustice in order to make the community a better place to live in.